environment parameter. So environment parameter is another important parameter which is widely used in QTP context. Because it's a one, it is a global parameter. Second, it is an XML format. That is another advantage of environment parameter. When it is in XML format, the advantage is I can use the tag name to refer to that object anywhere, anywhere it is. That is a major advantage of environment parameter. First, it is global. That means I can use that parameter anywhere across any actions. Second, I can configure it to in all locations. Directly, I can configure it to the script. I can take that into the uh, action as well anywhere. Third, environment parameter, the, the format in which the environment parameter is stored behind is an XML format. Since it is an XML format, I can have n number of parameters defined through a file and I can retrieve that parameter anytime without going through a loop. These are all the major advantages of environment parameter. That parameter we are going to see now. So I go to new, I now record the script, I record the script, I am repeating in the same application because now our aim is to concentrate on learning QTP features not worry about which application we are working with. The features of QTP doesn't change even for the add-in that you use. QTP features remain same. So I now insert the order. This we have repeated n number of times as of now. Base state, clear the screen new order screen, I stop my run. In this now, I want, we have seen this name value, taken values from the data table and random number we have seen. I want this name to take the value from the environment. For that, first let us understand what is environment. So, environment parameter. Under environment parameter, what is that we can understand? What is environment? This parameter allows QTP to take values from system information. Right? Values from the system. Example, username, logged in username, right? Uh, what is the test name, action name, then browser, uh, operating system, system name, version of operating system, etc etc all system information I can retrieve it using this parameter it has two types of parameter one built-in parameters second user defined so you can define your own parameter as well Built-in parameters are the one which I have indicated above. Logged in username, test name, action name, operating system name, version, etc. There are a lot. That is all built-in parameters. User-defined parameters, you can define your own parameter name and you can take the value from that parameter. This is what environment parameter is all about. Data table parameter, we assign a value, we take the value. So there is no system information available. 
environment parameter it is a system information you can use so I now come back to QTP where is the location of the environment parameter where it is it is available since it is a global guy it is available under file settings and environment here you can see there are two types one is built-in built-in these are all the available parameters for you to use in your script this is the name of the parameter this name is what we use second there is called user defined here I can create my parameter for initial run let me use say this OS version I want to use this OS version into my script so this is where the location of environment parameter is next is how do I configure environment parameter inside the script how do I configure I come to the keyword view that is the easiest way keyword view is the location where you can easily configure select I want to replace the name with that environment parameter I say excuse me so I click on configure value I click on parameter under this you can see now environment parameter is one of the parameters is in the list box I choose the environment parameter now you can select whatever you want to select I say OS version I can choose this now the parameter name I say ok now so simple if I now come back here expert view you can see this is the syntax of the environment parameter environment within bracket OS version that is the name of the parameter if I run the script I am executing the script activated the flight reservation entering the data now you can see when it is typing the name it uses that OS version here you can see now OS version is typed that means we have parameterized right so I cleared this screen base state is done so it is now we are able to see that the parameter is taking the value of environment I you I can see that it is environment parameter takes the value the next is I want to use user defined value or in another sense I want to use it from the XML file user defined also I can take it from the XML file first is we'll, let us understand how to because we may not know how XML is created so what I do is I go to user defined I create a parameter say for example I want to say browser name browser value is say IE 9.0 this is my value of the browser right I have added now into this environment parameter because it is not available as a path in my system I like to export it please note here click export user defined environment variables into an XML I export this file right so where you want to keep it let us go into our location so our location is here online class is my project place in that I open a folder libraries right in this library I will create now in this libraries I will now create XML file say environment dot xml any file name I can give I will give a new file name env dot xml so that we are distinguishing between the system information and this I save it I apply this 
I say OK. Now we have moved that into a file. Let me open that file here. We have created an environment parameter that before I open the file, if I now come here with browser name, before I go into that, I'll just tell you how that environment is used. I typed in the browser because we have created this browser as a parameter name. I run the script. You can see that it works still. Provided there is no spelling mistake in my parameter name. So I have chosen it. Now you can see that IE 9.0 is being typed here. So this is an user defined parameter how to use it directly inside the script. The next step, topic that we are going to use is how to import it from the XML file the parameter. Now I will go back to the XML file. Open my computer location uh, online class libraries environment parameter I edit it now with the open notepad edit it with notepad now you can see the way the environment parameters are created now I can go with now control C I create one more node now instead of browser I will make it as now uh, URL application URL to be tested I will say here google.com right this is my value so I want to now one minute Sorry, I have to realign my screens. Okay, so I am environment notepad. So now I have two variables. I can have n number of variables created now in this without any problem. I can create any number of variables. Control C, Control V. The tag name has to be same. Only this name I can change it now. So browser I have given, URL I have given. I might give say now. Uh, default path that also I can give so I can give here now path name c colon uh, scrub, uh, qtp online right qtp online something whatever the name if it doesn't exist it will fail anyway now I am giving anything I want I save this file now so I have now modified the file I have modified the file now I saved it in this script now I want to use those variable then then I am using now environment as an object environment again it is an utility object if you don't know the syntax always use step generator because it's a QTP object that means it is an utility object utility object select the utility object which object you want to work with now environment is the object I want to work with what do you want to do now I want to load from the file where is the file now put the location of the file here and including file name so path and file name is both are important so file path with name env dot xml it requires everything now I have given the path of the file. I say now OK. So environment load from file. I am put it onto the. Now the variable all the variables that you have used it is available now. So in the instead of now browser I can now use here URL. I can use now concatenation with uh, URL and then uh, browser I have created URL I have created 
uh, test path forget about the test path if you want to concatenate you can concatenate as well now run the script you can see now he is able to initially we have not created a url we have manually changed that url you can now see that he is able to manage that as well so he is now typing the data flight selecting the flight environment parameter you can keep it anywhere that's not an issue provided you ensure that the path to load the file is given correctly right this is so you can now see that google.com is used the path of you have to when you load it you have to make sure ensure that the path is appropriate but as a standard of framework concept you are supposed to keep it and within the framework so the framework you start with one folder and that is the folder where you can keep your environment file right very useful parameter environment parameter so we have completed now environment parameter in there are environment parameter can be used in multiple ways there are two types of environment parameter one is built in parameter another is user defined parameter built in parameters by default qtp has created those environment variables and we are allowed to use those variables using the syntax environment within bracket parameter name second you can define your own user defined parameter user defined parameter it can be exported into an xml and that xml file can be modified and load it before the application it gets executed there are two ways i can configure the loading the file can be done in two ways one is using the command environment dot load from file another is file settings file settings environment here i can go to the user defined i can also load variables and values from the external file this also i can give this is also available i now choose this file you can see now it has been loaded back to the script so i can define it in many ways i can use the file in many ways usually through script is the ideal you can also have this option so before this test is loaded into the screen he loads this parameter by default right this concepts we will see more of this concepts we will see it under object model of qtp test object model of qtp there we'll see more of such things right you may not realize the importance of all this now when we come to the very advanced concept like qtp object model during that time we'll see how we can manage it through script how we can manage it through script uh, qtp itself so what we have now i'm just saving the file what we have seen now is a environment parameter very useful parameter.